welcome welcome and to those who are returning welcome back to the podcast all right so let's talk about speaking your truth accountability forgiveness all that all right so first i want to say remember everything i speak i speak from experience so i can't cast any stones i cannot cast any stones all right i actually just want to jump right into it all right so if you speak your truth to someone but they have but they have already bought the lie of someone else about you, of course. (laughs) It's okay, it's okay. You know the truth, all right? You already spoke it, so now your throat chakra is cleared. You don't have to worry about any issues going on there because when we have those types of blockages, they manifest in the body physically and causes diseases, which is dis ease right your body is in dis ease due to the situation so you don't have to worry about that when you clear those blockages up all right they don't need to believe you what is them believing you going to do for you they don't need to believe you there's nothing for you trust me i was there i wanted people to believe me you know, this is years ago, you know, you work on yourself constantly, but I did. I wanted people to believe me. It's only bothering your ego. You know, what is ego, by the way, right? Actually, let's pull up the definition of ego, actually, the real one, okay? All right, let's see. Uh, Let me skim through it real quickly because it has three definitions here. Yep. Okay. These are all actually very fitting to what I'm saying. So remember what I'm talking about here. Remember, and then really listen to the definition. Rewind it if you have to go back and listen to it again. Okay. All right. So it says noun. It's a person's sense of of self-esteem or self-importance. All right. That's the one that we all know. All right. Psychoanalysis. This is the psychoanalysis definition now. The part of the mind that meditates between the conscious and the unconscious and is responsible for reality testing and a sense of personal identity. All right. This is your identity. People are questioning you and telling you that this is, you know, they're not, they're not believing you. It feels like a personal blow because that's your personal identity, you know? Like, this is who I am. And you're telling me basically that I'm not. Okay. You're questioning who I am. All right. Um, let's see. The next one is philosophy and metaphysics. All right. It's a conscious thinking subject. All right. We know that it's conscious. What we have to realize is people will be people. If they heard something about you and it hurt them, it's going to stick with them because it already hurt them. And it's hard to remove pain, all right? But you know, I want to put a disclaimer out there. Most, not all, okay? From here on, I'm talking about most people, not all. We don't always have the same experiences with everyone. But most of the time, we do, okay? When we give an ex- When we give an explanation, actually, this goes really well with... Uh, apologizing and you know seeking forgiveness and all those things this also ties in with that so it kind of leads me into my next topic it's it's actually perfect so i'm going to do it that way but when we ask for and when we give an explanation rather all right when we give an explanation to people it comes off as excuses so that leads me into forgiveness and apologizing so when we apologize to people the same thing happens it just sounds like if you're backing it with an explanation it just sounds like oh you're giving me excuses right that's what people hear people are not if you're here i think you're like me (laughs) i feel like you know you attract like spirit attract spirit right you just feel like you want to give your reason but who doesn't want to feel like you know i want to give my reason for doing this or I didn't actually do this or I didn't mean to do this. This is my explanation for doing A, B, and C. Sometimes, because I'm not going to be like everyone else and say we never need to give an explanation. I feel like sometimes we can, but I feel like most of the times we we don't have to. 
right? We don't have to because people just need their apology. They don't need your explanation. (laughs) It's only fitting for certain circumstances to give your explanation, right? But they don't need it. They don't need the explanation. It comes off as, well, are you apologizing? Because trust me, I've been there. Um, In my recent years, I had to learn this. Like, you hear it, but you didn't learn it for yourself. You haven't experienced it. You haven't sat down with it, you know, meditated on it. I actually had to sit and meditate over something that happened. And I was like, you know what? All my life, I thought I had to give explanation. I think people need to know why I did something. They don't need to all the time. They don't. And, you know, if you you have to constantly be working on yourself constantly, guys, it doesn't end. Because what did we learn earlier about the ego? It's there and it's working and you have to always push the ego back. You know, it's not a bad thing. It's a part of you for a reason. Everything has its purpose, everything. So it's not a bad thing to have this ego, right? It's there for a reason. It's just that we can't let it take over. We have to have balance in our lives, right? Balance within, balance outside of us. With that, you know, it it, it comes with a lot of work. <laughs> it comes with a lot of work. And I'm always sitting and meditating on situations that happen to me of saying, what did I do wrong? Because remember, a lot of times we think we didn't do something wrong. And even if the person did do something wrong, you still have lessons in these things. They're all, everything and every encounter we have with people, they are all lessons. Believe me. Some of you may not believe that, but it really is true. You have to just sit back one day and really think on this and say, you're going to see it. You're going to see that it's all been a lesson. Even the bad things have been a lesson, right? You've gotten out of it, haven't you? It, you know, you escaped it, haven't you? What did you learn from it? It's a lesson, all right? And a lot of times, we just need to learn to... And, it's not, and I remember, I'm telling you, I'm constantly working on myself. So it's not that I'm like, this is easy. It's not. It's easier. I always say this in my readings. These things are easier said than done. Yeah, so I've been there where I apologize and apologize and I give my explanation. I'm like, why are you getting so offended? I'm just giving you the reason. <laughs> because they're not thinking the way that I think. You know, I am. It's, it comes along with my sign too, and your birth chart and your signs. It, it forms your personality, if, you know, and other things form your personality too. It all goes in one. All the numbers, numer- numerology. It forms you, right? <laughs> and my my signs, are, I'm like, well, if A then B, you know, if you know, this then that. So I'm like, well, I'm apologizing, but I'm telling you what happened. And it's just like, nah, they don't need that. <laughs> they don't need that. They just want to hear that you're remor- remorseful. That's another thing. So when you're fi- when you are going to somebody, whether whether you did it or not, okay, no. If you did do it, let's start just one thing at a time here. Let's not confuse everybody here, right? If you did do something wrong, right? And you do apologize and the person does not believe you. Going back to that believing you again, right? That's okay. You do not sit in the guilt because you you are truly... I'm talking about people who are truly remorseful. People who are truly sorry, you know? they mean what they're saying when they come to you with their apology then you know if you really mean what you're saying that's what i'm talking to you don't have to sit in that guilt because if that is how you feel you come to that person or you go to that person and vice versa if this is the uh, the roles are reversed here whoever's watching right you are released from that prison, right? You, you, it's like people who think you did something wrong to them. You got to be stuck like that forever. And I don't, that's just wrong. If you're truly sorry, why are you, why do you have to live in that guilt of what you, you were supposed to evolve as humans. You're supposed to ascend. We're supposed to grow. That's the whole point. We learned the lesson 
we can move on now. That's the whole point. Why do we have to stay trapped in the prison if we are truly, truly remorseful? You don't have to. So do not feel like you have to stay trapped in that prison because you were not forgiven by that person. Because now in the situation, that person also has a lesson to learn. So they're working, they have to work on themselves too, to be able to come to a place of forgiveness, um, towards others and yada, 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 right? It, it's, it's a, it's vice versa. It's both of you having to learn lessons and just, 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 that's just how the universe works. All right. You don't stay stuck feeling guilty. And even if the person said they forgive you, sometimes we still stay stuck in, uh, in guilt. You, you didn't mean to do it. Or if you, if you did, you are sorry. This is what I'm trying to say. You are remorseful. It's okay. You can move on. You can move forward. Do not stay stuck in that guilt. Do not live there in that prison. You're human. You are, we're here to learn and grow. You learned, you apologized from your heart. Now you move on to the next level. It's a game. This world is a one big game. You now you move on to the next level. Okay. You grew from that experience. That's what we do. We grow from our experiences. And here are other strange scenarios like people coming at you when you did nothing wrong at all. <laughs> nothing wrong at all. Or you feel like you didn't do anything wrong, right? You're like, well, I did this. I did that. Why are you coming towards me? No one even told them anything. This is just in their heads of like what you did. So this is their own personal conflict within or whatever they're going through within that cause them to their own perception there they it cause them to perceive things a certain way and sure you may have feel like you didn't do anything wrong but in their eyes you did and this is one where it's like oh what do I do <laughs> well because people like tend to we tend to get mad instead of like well I didn't do anything wrong you screw you get out of here and then like I said in their more recent years I've learned that people are going to be righteous in what they, they are righteous in what they feel. This is how they feel because their perception is how they perceive something. And it's just like, well, this is what they perceived. I, so it just, it happened that way. And we all have th different ways of thinking. So their perception is just how they think, right? That's how they perceive things. So even then you will go and say, all right, you're right. Or you can just, up, you don't have to say that if you don't want to. Just say, you, I apologize. You know, you're apologizing for whatever they perceived because it still came from you and it came off a certain way, right? So you apologize for how it came off. You're apologizing for what they perceived because it's it's not anything of you did something wrong, someone told them something, anything, and it's just a misunderstanding when you think about it, right? So apologies are in order still because as i said earlier it came from you and it came off a certain way it's a misunderstanding it's as simple as that it's a misunderstanding you, you apologize you know and in that situation you can give an explanation if you like and other times you don't have to but you know you can tell the person you know I'm, i am sorry i'm truly sorry because you know i hurt you and that's not how I meant it, but I did. You can, you can give an explanation because in that moment, why you, you can, but you don't have to, there's, you know, there, there are certain moments or certain circumstances, I should say that also don't call for an explanation. Just apologize <laughs> of how, you know, cause they perceived it that way. And it's because of how, you know, you came off and sometimes you never know. Maybe you did come off that way and you don't even know you did. You think you did the right thing and then you go home and you sit back and go, wait, oh my gosh. You sit back and you say, wait, when I said this, I kind of did this. And you know what I mean? You never know. One, one degree of your body movement can even say something to somebody and they get like, whoa. So you just apologize. You later on see that, hmm, I see where they got that from. So it's, it's up to you if you want to explain or not that one is not so much bad for an explanation as the apologizing for what you did do or like i said earlier for when you're um speaking the truth that one you know you can give some explanation there sometimes <laughs> i know i'm confusing you but 
there are some there are moments where you don't have to give an explanation then we have similar it's similar where they perceive something where no it's similar where they come and attack you and say they're angry and upset with something that you did and this time it's not about perception it's about reflection they're reflecting things onto you because they're upset and angry about something and they are gonna they're going to attack the first person that they're talking to right so and it happens to be you and so now they're projecting onto you that one too you go well i apologize because once again you don't know if you did something wrong for real or like or through their perception of course or what's going on so you apologize and that one for sure will throw them off for a loop because they're not expecting it you know you're they're because once again, you're like, okay, well, if you're feeling this way, then you're going to be righteous in how you feel, basically. But you don't have to tell them that. This is what I'm just telling you. This is why you're doing it. And so then it, they can't last in that energy when you are so high, highly vibrating. You're vibrating on a higher plane when you do that. And they can't stay in that energy much longer when you're vibrating that high. And you're like oh i apologize you know a b and c whatever you want to say to them and then they're like what because that's not what they were expecting they they want to pick a fight they want to stay in that anger but they can't you can't stay in anger when somebody's apologizing you can't what 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 more do you need to say from there on what more do you have to say from there on you know they very they apologize they are not coming down to your level so they're going to break down either crying or what have you but they're going to start to tell you that they're sorry <laughs> because they came in angry they came in hot and they're upset about something else and they're going to tell you that um so what i'm saying is it's all about energy right when someone comes with a certain kind of energy and you just are truly apologetic it, 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 they cannot last in that low vibration, that low energy. They can't last there when you're so high, right? Somebody has to meet someone somewhere, right? So they're going to either try to meet you up there because they're going to apologize. And then you are helping them to raise their vibration when you, you do something like that, right? So they're going to start to climb up and meet you there and say, you know, start talking to you, you're helping them and you both are vibrating higher now. Okay. This is why we do things selflessly. Cause when we, when we don't, that's when the ego kicks in and that's when arguments happen. And then it just gets worse. And it's just, why are we making things worse when we can be the bigger person? And I know people are sick of saying, Oh, I have, you know, I'm going to be the bigger person. People actually have said, I'm tired of being the bigger person. I'm always getting hurt. You're only going to get hurt if your ego is involved. Things start to grow and get better and raise to a higher vibration when you do, when you do do these things. I know it's hard. I know for some of you it's hard, but we, it's, it's about growth. That's what this earth school is about. You have to grow. You come here to ascend. You come here to grow. You come here to learn and you can't get hurt if your ego's not involved like that. You can't trust me. Trust me. You can't because I told you I was once there. Everything I'm telling you, I was once there. And I'm much better for what I'm doing now. I feel light. I feel happier. It's 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 a it's a better feeling, you know, because we go on our feelings, right? It's a better feeling. I feel better when I do these things. Vibrating high, how can you not? You know, it's, this is a natural high you're gonna get, you know, because everything is literally energy, and it's about energy, right? It's about energy everything everything actually let's kind of take a little pause here for a second we're going to get into the rest of the video don't worry about that but i want to mention that if you have any questions you can email me or if you have any topics you want to discuss of course we're keeping it in the spiritual realm the quantum physics realm all those two topics okay we're going to keep 
it like that. So if you have any topics within those topics and or any questions, you can email me. The email is going to be on the screen as well as in the description box below and in the about me section of my channel. Now we're also going to talk about bookings. Obviously I want to tell you how to book me, but this video I'm going to put up right now is very quick guys. It's just a few seconds of your time on how to book me. All right, so here we go. And we'll get into the rest of the video right after. If you need spiritual counseling, such as life coaching, advice on your spiritual journey, information on how to stop a spiritual attack, or wanting to know if you have a spiritual calling, and so much more, book an appointment with me today at crystallizationspa.com. And click on the tab, Spiritual Counseling. All right, so those are the instructions on how to book me. All right, let's get into the rest of the video. Let's talk about renting and all that stuff. Now you've done all these things. Now you kind of feel, you know, you're a little hurt because the person did not take on or did not forgive you or what have you, or they believe someone else, you know, you're a little hurt. You did what you did. You apologize. You're trying to move on. And a lot of people who move on, they need to vent. They need an outlet. All right. And sometimes it doesn't always come in the form of talking to someone. But if you do need to talk, some, to talk it out with someone, your close friend, family member, do so. Just do so because you do need to release. It's about releasing. And if it's stuck in you and stagnant, you can't move forward. You just can't. And so if talking it out is what you have to do, you, you do that. You're, you know what I'm saying? Um, or you can, hmm, if you do social media, right? You can also do it that way because people who are very creative, we need to do it through those kind of outlets of, you know, acting. When you write out your script, you act certain things out. You, your music, you're a musician, you go and write a, a song. But do not say the people's names. It's not about them being hurt all over again. You're just doing this. And even if they get hurt from it and they recognize it, you're not using their names. You need an outlet. You have to let it out. Let it out. You know, um, you have every right. <clears throat> sorry. You have every right to vent however you see fit. And as long as you know you're doing the right thing by not using names and you're not calling the person out on these things, you just need an outlet. You have every right. Like I never heard anybody talk about this before, but... I am because I feel like I do both. I vent, I talk it out, but I'm also very creative. Guys, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel, right? I like to create, you know, I, I like to, if you've seen, <laughs> my channel has a plethora of things. If you've seen my earlier days, I'm acting, I'm doing all these things. It's because that's the creative side of me. It's big and I want, that's how I release. And I, I know that that's how I release and it's not fair to keep things in if, you know, and it's, it's stagnant inside of me causing disease, dis-ease, right? Disease in the body. And I'm going to let it out. But I never use names, which I only did it one time. I don't, I don't do it often. But I don't use names. You shouldn't use names. You should just release in a creative way without, you know, and that, that's a stab in the, like, that's just not right. You don't, don't use a person's name and don't get on there and rant about it either. <laughs> I ain't talking about going on social media ranting either. I'm talking about if you're creative, let it out in your creative way. Do not rant on social media and do not start. It's just, it's not a good look when you rant guys like that. And then you're going to go and say names too. Just that's not a good look either. Just let it out how you see fit without doing those things. It's just not necessary. Who is it really helping, honestly? All right, so you have every right to do that. And I'm like, and you're probably like, who are you to give me that seal of approval? I'm telling you, because this is who you are. You are creative, or this is who you are. You like to vent to people who are close to you, and you like that listening ear. You want somebody to hear you. All right, you want somebody to listen to you. And you even sometimes want somebody to talk back, talk some sense back into you. That's, that's what is wrong with that. It's venting. You have to let it out somehow if you're holding it and it's hard for you to release, right? It's not everybody has an easy time releasing things after they've apologized or after they've done something. They're like, okay, I'm good. Not everyone is, is not easy. They have different ways to do so. So why not utilize it, okay? But just do it in the right way 
respectful manner, okay? Do not have to say names. I keep stressing that. Do not say names. And if the person wanna confront you on doing that, you, you didn't use a name. You got a vent, you had to release, and you did so. I mean, honestly. If you wanna come for me, tell me it's wrong. Tell me it's wrong, it's okay, but I've already gone over this myself. I know that I need to release a certain way oh, because, you know, not all the time, but you know, not all the time I do. I don't do it, I, like I said, I don't did it one time. <laughs> on so like when it came to me writing a script and playing things out, only one time did I ever do that. You know, those who not, um, who are, well, I shouldn't say that. I was gonna say those who are not creative wouldn't get it. Um, but there are, I'm pretty sure there are some people who are gonna be like, you know, I am creative, but I wouldn't do it that way. Um, without names either, you know, because the person will recognize and they'll get hurt. Well, don't, then don't put, you can create something and you don't have to put it out there. I'm not telling you to just, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm not telling you to put it out there. I'm just saying, if you are a creative person and that's how you do it, you can create something. You don't have to put it out there if you don't want to, but you just let it out on your paper when you're doing lyrics. So you let it out on your paper when you're doing the script, you know, you don't have to release it if you don't want to. Okay. Or if you want that feeling, cause people just, some people just go based off. I said it earlier, people go on their feelings, right? But if I always say you can mimic certain things, like if you want that feeling of I'm releasing this and I'm putting it out there, you don't have to literally put it as public. You can put it out there, but that act, the action of it all, um, is what you need. You just click, 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 and you feel like it's out there, but it's unlisted. <laughs> okay? It's out there, it's put, it's, but it's private. You can do that, whatever you, it takes. But, but if you really want to let, let it out publicly, like I said, you're not using names. And this is where, you know, movies that you watch, you, music that you hear comes from. I'm not talking about um, so much mainstream. I'm not talking about so much of because I don't listen to certain artists anymore. I don't do certain low vibrational things anymore. And I'm not judging anybody who does. I'm just saying I don't do that, right? I always gotta make a disclaimer because <laughs> some people just don't get it. I'm not talking about you, okay? <laughs> so if, you know, people want to release through their music and they want to put it out there because, you know, it's their work, it's their art. And this is how they let things out. And that's what most music is. It's about your experiences. You don't just write things and it's not your experience. It use 99.9, .9, you know, percent of the time it's um, your experiences that you're putting out there. All right. So that people are expressing. That's just how they express their self, themselves. And if you're not creative, you won't get it. You won't get it. But those who are you hear me and you know what i'm saying but i'm not telling you to call people out i'm not telling you to put their names on it and i'm telling you to do it in a tasteful manner you know so that's what i'm saying to you i hope people understand that one that part might be a little tricky it might ruffle a little feather ruffle some feathers but it is what it is okay it is what it is you if you're not creative you just won't get it you can also meditate on these things, you know. Like I said, I wanna go back to, to the artist thing. Tastefully, okay, tastefully. You know, I think only one time I did it and I was kind of jokingly doing it and I was like, you know, it, it, it's, I'm not mentioning names, but it looks like I'm making fun of the situation too much. And so, cause I'm more of a comical person than anything. So I was like, you know what? That's not how I want to do that. I actually took the video down because I didn't feel, I've only done it once, you know, I'm, you know, I've only done that once. And after that, I didn't do it again. So, um, I just vent. <laughs> or if I do want to write, I don't release anything, but yeah, I just like tastefully, tastefully. And then, like I said, I'm, I'm quick to call myself out on things. Um, that goes into the, con look, I'm just leading into the next topic. Accountability is what I want to talk about too. I'm quick to hold myself accountable for certain things. You know, after a while of it being up, I'm like, you know, this is not tasteful. Like, you know, you, you, you get a little wiser. You're like, I'm gonna take this down. But that's what I'm saying. Please, anything you do, you do it respectfully. You know, you can let your feelings out a certain way without destroying the person, okay? 
I just want to emphasize that because I do know about needing that outlet if, as a creative person, but I also do know that we should respect one another. Okay, please. And thank you. That, um, I was saying that it led into my next topic, actually, right? Accountability. For those of you who do always take accountability like I do, I, I tell on myself, <laughs> I just be like, hey, I did this <laughs> thing here and I'm sorry about it. I did it. And they didn't even know. I, I just be telling myself. But accountability, for those of you who do do that, because trust me, I know how that feels when you do it and people are like, you're making excuses. And it's like, well, I literally just told on myself. How am I making an excuse? I just told you. <laughs> you didn't even know. <laughs> or when you realize you did something wrong and you go, oh, you're right. That was me. That person is the one calling you out on and you're like, oh shoot, I did not realize that. I take accountability. You know, I know it can hurt when people go, well, you are not, you, you know, it's all about accountability. You don't take it. And I know it can hurt when they're questioning that part of you that always takes accountability. <laughs> you're like, wait, ah, me? I always say just because, you know, why do you feel like I didn't take accountability? This is projection. They're projecting things onto you that they don't do because you know, for sure, you always do this thing and you have been telling yourself sometimes, but you know, you always do this one thing and people are telling you don't do it. It's because that's projection. That is definitely projection. You just leave that alone. Trust me. Do not get into that. You don't need to walk around arguing with everybody. It's not necessary. And over time, they will tell on themselves, okay? They will tell on themselves because they can't help. When, like I said, when you stay in a high vibration, the truth always gets exposed. So no matter what's going on around you, whether, you know, someone lied on you or what have you, the truth will always get exposed. I know sometimes it takes a long time, but it will come out in its perfect timing. Okay. So don't worry. Don't sit and worry about, Oh my gosh, what are you saying to me? I just took accountability yesterday for what I, something I did, you know, like, what do you mean? That's I'm the king of the queen of accountability. Why are you saying to me that I, I don't take accountability? You know why? Cause I didn't stoop down and say, uh, I, I did something I didn't do. You want me to confess to something I did not do because you did it. And now you're projecting it onto me. That's all it is. They want you to take responsibility for something that they did wrong because they feel guilty. Do not stoop that low, please. Okay. Don't, it's not the same thing as when they come in yelling at you from one of my earlier examples and saying, Oh, I'm as upset. And you're, you apologize. This is a different thing where they're saying, when you guys are having a normal conversation and, and something went wrong and it was on their end and they're like, you know, no, I didn't do it. But I'm like, I'm literally standing right next to you and you did it. And you're telling me I did this thing. It's totally different. Trust me. It might not sound like it is, but there are two different things. The earlier example I gave with the apologies and someone being upset and coming in saying, Hey, uh, you did this and that. And the perception is different. That's totally different. This is different and trust me i know it might sound the same but this accountability is different someone trying to put a blame on you and you know they did it and they're standing right there in your face with the evidence and they're telling you you did it like this is this is different accountability and apologizing for, a per for someone's perception of you is the two different things trust me um i hope i'm making sense if not i can clarify it later on but they're two different things, trust me, because one is perception, one is anger. You can tell the difference, guys. Uh, one is projection, saying you did it when you saw, you <laughs> clearly see that they did something and they're projecting it onto you. That's a different story. That one, you just say, well, I did not do that. I was over here doing A, B, and C. I apparently love that example of A, B, and C. I was doing A, B, and C over here. So you're going to have to deal with that on your own. Like you walk away, you, you walk away. You don't have to argue. You don't have to argue on that. I know my examples are different than other people's, you know, spiritual podcasts or spiritual videos that you watch, but everybody is different. And 
certain people will resonate with me, certain people will resonate with them, certain people will resonate with both, but we all speak differently for a reason. It's to connect to like-minded spirits or stupid, like people who speak or comprehend things a certain way. Cause I know my, the way I talk is different than probably people you've watched, but Hey, these are my examples and this is how I wanted to bring it forward. And this is how it's flowing. So yeah, that's just me. Um, another way I was trying, I was gonna mention this, but I cut my own stuff off was meditation too. You can meditate on what's going on in your life. Anything. You sit down, meditate. I think meditation should be um, everyone's way of sitting down, reflecting. And everyone meditates differently. I know people say that there's certain ways to meditate and you have to do it a certain way. Um, I found that when I do things a certain way that I feel comfortable doing it, it's it's um it works for me. So work do what works best for you. You don't have to follow Tom, Dick, and Harry, okay? You don't. Uh, maybe later on down the line when you start to get a better flow of how you meditate, you can do incorporate those ways because there's nothing wrong with those ways. But if it doesn't work for you immediately and something else does in, in how you meditate, you do that. I mean, like I said, it's about evolving. Do what's comfortable for you. All right, because your body, your spirit it will tell you what to do. It tells you what to do. You know, when I'm doing certain things for my spiritual practice and I'm trying to call in on <clears throat> certain help to come in from my guides and stuff like that, I do what my spirit tells me to do. I don't always light a candle. I don't always light an incense. You know, I just do what I feel is very comfortable to me and the moment. And that's what your spirit needs in that moment as well. Or maybe your guides need it to be that way in that moment. And that's why you're doing it that way. Your spirit is called to do it that way. So do what your spirit calls for you to do. Okay. It's not about following everybody. I actually think I want to end it here. Cause you know, I don't like my podcast to be too long. I don't like it going past like 20 minutes or anything like that. So I'm going to end this here. I really hope you've gotten something from what I've said and you can utilize it now. Um, if you came to this video, that means you need it now, right? You came here, you stumbled upon the video, the universe put it in your lap. It's because you needed it now, right? Or some of you need it later on in your future, okay? Um, in your immediate future, all right? Until the next podcast, guys, I'm out.